What's going on guys? Dots here and today I'm bringing you a guide to doing things AFK in Black Desert Online. My top 10 things that you can do while you are AFKing from the game. BDO is a unique MMO in the regards that you can actually continue to do things in the game while you are not actively at your computer. Many current MMOs don't have a feature like that and I think it's one of the cool things about BDO is that you can even make some semblance of progression even when you're not actively sitting at your PC playing the game. Now the 10 things I have on the list here, some things are way more like like long-term AFK than others. Some things you can do overnight. Some things will only, you know, take a shorter period of time, but it's all things that you can just do while you are either, you know, off doing something else or doing something else on your PC. And just 10 things you're able to do while you're not actively in the game playing. So the first thing on my list is actually going to be a pretty simple one, and that is going to simply be traveling. So the map of Black Desert is pretty big, and it is non-instance with really not a lot of fast traveling. And so because of that, if you are for some reason in Grana, and you need to go all the way over to Valencia City, I even went a little bit too far, to Valencia City, it's quite a hike, as you can see. It's a very, very, very far run that you'd have to take. And so you are able to actually auto path your way there. So if you just simply, you know, select where you want to go, right click and then press T, your character will start to run that way. And so if for some reason, you know, you need to travel a long distance, you can, you know, go and, you know, grab a snack, grab a drink, do something while your character is actually traveling and you don't have to sit there and just watch your character go from point A to point B. You can actually auto path your way to where you want to go. Pretty simple one, but I just wanted to mention it for people who maybe weren't aware that you could uh, auto path like that. The second thing that I want to mention, it, it is probably going to be one of the best AFK things that you could do in the game, period is going to be fishing so fishing is one of the best afk activities uh just because it can make you some pretty decent money overnight if you do it so what you are going to want to do i recommend if you're going to really get into afk fishing you're going to want to get a balanos fishing rod as well as some logia fisher's clothes at whatever the highest enhancement value is that you can get then what you simply want to do is go to a body of water select what level of fish you are able to uh catch and throw away so obviously you know while you're leveling up your fishing you're going to only be able to um keep white quality fish with the, and and above but as you get more experience you can basically filter out and automatically discard the lower grade fish so that you only keep the better fish so that your inventory does not fill up while you're afk because obviously you know you're gonna just hit space you are gonna fish and your job is pretty much done you could either actively fish if you want to or just leave your character sitting here doing its thing and you're pretty much good to go. It's it's fairly straightforward. Um, now, what you're going to want to do, though, when you are fishing, I would recommend, again, depending on what you're trying to fish for, I would recommend selecting the highest grade fish that you could throw back as possible. If you want to keep gold quality fish, then obviously I would only do blue and below. Um, it depends on what you're specifically trying to do. But I recommend for new adventurers, click do not board other adventurer ships. Something that people can do if they have, uh, you know, bad intentions is they can come and scoop you up off of wherever you're fishing and go and drop you somewhere in the middle of the ocean so obviously we don't want that we want to uh you know stay here and keep fishing so you are not you are going to want to make sure that you check this but again having the logia clothes and the balanos uh rod is going to help a lot with your afk fishing the next thing that you can also do while you are AFKing is processing. And personally, this is one that I have been doing a ton recently. So what you are able to do, I recommend though for AFK processing, um, if you wanna really do it right, having a processing outfit is going to be extremely helpful what the main reason is that it enables storage item processing so that you don't have to hold the items you're trying to process in your inventory you can process straight from your bank directly into your inventory it just makes it a little bit easier to process also having a pretty decent weight is also of course going to be helpful since your character will obviously stop processing once the late limit has been reached so you simply go and talk to a storage keeper storage and if you have the outfit on you can click process and then you can simply choose what you want to do so for example if i wanted to chop planks overnight i can just select planks go start and bam i'm pretty much good to go and my character will just process as long as she is able to and she has weight um it's a really really good way to process especially if you are uh, to do afk 
especially if you're doing something like uh, making flour, making dough, stuff like that. The resulting materials that you get from the processing are actually pretty light. And so because of that, you really can process for a very, very, very long time. And so it's a great thing to do AFK. And like I said, it's something I've been personally doing myself a ton recently. The next thing that I want to mention is cooking. Now, cooking is something that you can do either AFK or semi AFK, depending on what you're trying to do. So if your cooking time is pretty short based off of the gear that you're wearing, outfits, buffs, etc., that's going to be a more semi AFK activity where you basically, you know, you go to your uh, chef's table. I'll just going to run to my house really quick. You can go to your chef's table, set your character up to cook and then minimize the game while your character actually goes through the cooking process. So you can select something to cook, cook, and then your character will just do it. And then you can just, again, go do something else while they actually cook and then check back in in a short time. But if you want to actually cook for longer periods of time, there is actually a crafting table that you can get, and it is called the Calfion Traditional Cooking Utensil. This will add seven seconds of cooking time to your cooking things now you might be wondering why would i ever want cooking to take longer it is due to the fact that if you're going to be doing long-term afk cooking and you don't want your cooking to go extremely short you kind of want it to be slower over time the calfion table is a great way to do it or any table that is going to add duration to your cooking time that also segues me into my next point which is alchemy you can do the exact same thing with alchemy you know have your character do some alchemy while you are at your computer you know doing other things check back in periodically or grab a calfion table or something else that increases your alchemy time and then from there you can do some more longer form afk activities the next thing that i have is going to be gathering water gathering water is basically only limited by how much energy your character has so if you have a lot of energy you're going to be able to do this for a very long time so you're going to want to just grab some empty bottles which you can get from basically any general merchant you can get one from the uh the store over there in uh here in high dell to the one right behind Lara, just go into the general goods, the inn here, and you can buy a bunch of empty bottles. From there, you just simply come to the water. You then just open your inventory, right click this, click repeat, and your character will just gather water until your energy runs out. And if you have the Kama Selves Blessing going, and if you have a really high amount of energy, this is something that you can do for quite some time and is some very decent passive money making. You know, sets, you know, a lot of these things you're going to notice are money making focus fishing can make pretty decent money processing cooking uh alchemy and now this gathering all or ways to make a little bit of extra money while you are afking the next thing that you can do while afk is leveling your strength or breath so these are some fitness skills that you have your breath will increase your stamina and you simply need to walk or run to gain breath xp and strength will increase the amount of lt you have so your weight limit and how much you can hold now to actually level up your breath you again just need to run around but if you want to do that while you are afk there is a way that you can do it so if you you know go to some spot in a town i'm in Velia right now you can set an auto loops path for yourself so if you hold alt on the keyboard you can do RMB, 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 and then RMB, and it will set this auto looped path for yourself. And then you can just press T and you will run around in that circle uh, basically until you get back to your PC because it is shown by green. Now, if for some reason you want to save this, you could do set auto loop path and you could also save this so that if you ever want to level this in the future, uh, you can just load it up from the bottom left. Um, so, you know, if you do want to load this up, retrieve auto loot path load your auto loot path and then you don't have to redo this every single time so it's just a way that you can level up your uh strength or breath by doing that now to actually do your strength because you do need to obviously be carrying something heavy to make yourself stronger uh you're gonna want to do the exact same thing as you would with breath with breath you just press t and run around you know like this and just run and you will gain experience but to gain strength you need to actually be carrying a backpack so what you want to do is come to a trade manager go to trade uh, pick some item. So we'll do food, for example. Um, you just do take, max quantity, purchase all, using amount or other actions will be restricted by place of commerce of trade items in your inventory. Click yes. And then you do the same thing, but walking with this backpack on, okay? So by simply walking with this backpack on, you will level up 
your strength. See how our strength is going up by just walking with this backpack. So this is something else that you can do while you are AFK. The items in your backpack that you also buy from the trade manager will last up to 24 hours. Um, but if you know you are done with this afterwards and you don't want to do it anymore, you can simply delete the items. Similarly to training your strength and breath, you can also train your mounts, aka the training skill line, while you are AFK. It's a really, really good way uh, to not only make some money through either just, you know, buying horses or catching them and selling them for money if you get good uh, skills on them, but this is also a good way to level up your training because getting to artist at one is really important so that you can get auto sprinting while you are doing your AFK running on your horse, which makes traveling from point A to point B way faster. Now, the best way to level up your training while AFK is to simply come here to a luxury vendor shop and you are going to want to buy trainers clothes because it does increase your training XP, your mount XP, as well as your horse capture rate and your mount skill XP. You do have to be skilled one or skilled 10, excuse me, to actually get this. So you will need to do a little bit of leveling on your training before you can actually buy that. Another thing that is also good to buy is the celerity drought. These last for three hours and are another great way to augment your training experience while you are leveling it afk another thing is that your mount actually levels up based off of its speed so having a costume on the mount will also help as well as having um some uh, enhanced shoes some iron horseshoes to basically make your mount run faster now again you're just going to simply hop on your mount and the same way we talked about with the auto pathing for your strength and your breath you are going to do the same thing here you're going to set a path for yourself so i have one saved from leveling here in dregan so i click load and then i just click t and my guy just does its thing and i can just go AFK when I'm done. You check auto consume feed when stamina is low so that your horse can keep going and have some carrots in your inventory. And, and you're pretty much good to go to level up training AFK. So very good activity to do and definitely a good one to do overnight, similarly to fishing. The next thing that you can do, and this is one that many newer players do not know about, is AFK combat training. So in any major town, you simply will have this guy. His name is Jamie Drucker. He is present in any town next to these training dummies. You're going to go. You're going to talk to him. You're going to click shop, and you will see these book of training for combat and book of training for skill. One of these obviously will level up your skill experience, and one levels up your combat experience. So let's say, you know, I want to level up my combat experience for an hour. Just simply buy one of these. I then use it, and then if you go to the top right, you will see Book of Training Combat lasts for an hour. One thing to note about this, though, is that you cannot go over 99%. You do have to, you know, let's say you're really close to level 58, and you end up getting to 99%. It will stop you at that 99%. You will have to come on and manually level yourself over to the next level, but you can use it from 0% to 99% of any level. Once you have the book used, you click R on the Scarecrow, and then from there, you can just simply AFK train. There are times where I know I'm not going to be really home playing BDO at all for an entire weekend. And so sometimes I'll just leave my character AFK training for the whole weekend while I am gone. So it's a good way to do a really long form AFK activity. And it's a good way to get some passive experience on your character, even when you're not actively playing. Final thing that you can do while AFK in this video that I'm going to recommend, and I am cheating a little bit this with this one to get it the list to 10, but it's technically true, is farming. So you can set up farms in Black Desert Online by getting these old moon fences and putting them uh, in certain places in certain locations and growing your own crops. But the crops do only grow while you are logged in and and you know in some capacity and so you don't have to be actively playing you can technically be afk and the crops will grow so if you're doing one of the other nine things that i mentioned in this video your crops will also grow giving you a 10th thing that you are essentially doing or another thing that you're doing at any given time it's just really nice to be able to get the consistent crops and check on them once or twice a day to be able to get all the ingredients you need for your cooking. Now, what I recommend doing to actually get these fences is going to talk to uh, Flaviano in... Um in Heidel, you can find him right here, and you could rent a bunch of the larger fences. They cost 10 uh, contribution points for 10 farming slots, and you can place them all around, and you can place up to 10, so that means up to 100 contribution spent on fences, and it's absolutely worth it, especially if you get into cooking in any capacity. Growing your own crops just really helps, you know, to 
make it so that you have less bottlenecks you're able to craft more cooking things do your imperial turn-ins and make more money so again leaving your account logged in you know will allow your crops to grow and make it so that you get the most yield possible now, while you are AFK, you do not need to leave BDO up, you know, consuming all of the extra power on your PC. If you hit escape, hit disconnect, and then click minimize to tray, it will minimize Black Desert to the tray, drastically reducing the amount of resources it has on your computer, lowering your power costs, and allowing you to do other things on your PC while BDO runs in the background. But guys, that is going to be it for my top 10 things to do while AFK in BDO. Is there anything that you like to do while AFK that I did not mention on this list? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you have any questions, you could also leave them there too. If you like this video and found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on it. And for more BDO beginner guides, please hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep those notifications on. So thank you all so much for stopping by today. I do very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.